Oh, you're so going to like this one. Esteban, what do you mean counting calories and counting the macros sucks, it's stupid, and it doesn't work? Well, I'm glad you asked that because that's what we get to talk about right now. Hence, this awesome picture of large intestines, small intestines, leaky guts. If you don't know who I am and you're still on here, thank you. My name is Esteban Lutz. I specialize in helping frustrated individuals create the best fit version of themselves, and I do that through mindset nutrition, and fitness. We get to talk about nutrition. So if you've ever been on that hamster wheel cycle of I'm working out, I'm working out, I'm working out, this is a fitness page, so probably so at some point. I'm sweating a lot, and I'm just not losing the inches or the weight. My energy sucks the way that I thought I should be changing. I'm about to explain one of the reasons counting calories is dumb, it's stupid, it doesn't work, and what you can do about it. So stay till, tuned till the end, and I'm going to give you a solution for that. So here's an example. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, toast, and butter. I know that's us. You're like, hmm, I think I'll have that for dinner. Have it for dinner. Enjoy it. Fantastic. So I could have two plates of that. Hmm. Okay, thank you for giving me two plates of that. And one is going to get me to gain weight. The other one is going to get me to lose inches, lose weight, increase my energy. So I'll give you an explanation and we'll tie it back into what does that mean with what you were talking about with the leaky gut. So both would have the same amount of calories. Here we go. Both have the same amount of calories. Both have the same amount of macros. One, fried chicken. So I've got farm-raised chicken, which is fed grain. Early bird gets the, the worm. I've got chickens in my farm. And when they're out in the pasture, they don't go for grain. They're going for bugs, worms. So feeding the animal what it's intended to be fed, then when we consume it, we have high energy. We don't have a sick animal that gets us sick and causes inflammation. So one is the, the free-range chicken. The other one's farm-raised chicken. One is breaded and dipped in vegetable oil. The vegetable oil causes inflammation, causes leaky gut. When the inflammation goes up, it tells the body produce visceral fat. So that's a fat around the organs, belly fat. What we don't like, that's, that's what we have. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me know what's your favorite type of chicken. Do you like big chicken? Do you like fried chicken? There's ways to have fried chicken. It's so delicious. Do you like barbecue chicken? Mmm, so delicious. The other one... We bake it with almond flour. You could do it with the, the same um, olive oil, uh, coconut oil, excuse me, co you don't cook olive oil. Coconut oil is better for the medium to high heat and that's anti-inflammatory. Helps bring the gut lining together, which I'm about to show you how that works. And one's going to reduce inflammation while the other one increases it. Mashed potatoes, where's my mashed potatoes? Right there, mashed potatoes. One is the instant mashed potatoes from the box, add water, and it's got the different chemicals in it. It's got stuff that I don't even know how to pronounce in it. It's got the awesome MSG, it's really not awesome, for seasoning and flavoring. Again, that's going to cause the, the leaky gut. i got to figure out where this camera is. The leaky gut right there. So one's causing inflammation and growth. It's making me sick. So the reason I have inflammation is because I'm getting sick. Ta-da! When my weight increases, fat increases, it's an effect of my body and immune system going down. That sucks! The other one is real potatoes mashed up like grandmama used to do. Those are so good. Both of them have butter. One, I'm using margarine, which is, which is like a soy derivative and chemical. Again, causing inflammation and, and blocking up the arteries. The other one is real butter from grass-fed sources. Oh, once again, anti-inflammatory. Helps bind the gut lining. Watch how we go with this with, with the visual. And then the last one, we're going toast and butter. So we know that the gluten molecule from, from the wheat separates, so I'll give you a visual, the gut lining, which causes and creates leaky gut. And you'll see how that's important into either gaining and poofing up or shrinking, tightening up, and having boosted energy. So to give you a visual when you're like, what do you mean, Esteban, with, with this leaky gut stuff? Visualize a mesh, like a wiring that's inside your small intestines. 
the nutrients are going through that. They get, they get absorbed. It's like little finger looking like things called villi inside the small intestines and it absorbs nutrients. It's kind of like this. And as we consume fake sweeteners, the chemicals, the toxins, um, the ibuprofen and aspirin actually help separate that too. It's what happens. Creates a separation. So one, we have a super, super, super tight mesh. Zoom in, go like that. Then the other one, as I'm consuming these foods, it's called food, that creates an expansion, a permeation inside the gut. There's bigger spaces now. So visualize that I'm going from like a mosquito netting to chicken wire. Now, that lining inside the small intestines, Food particles will go through it. Bacteria goes through it. Waste can go through it. So what's happening is that's going into the bloodstream. So it is a toxin to the body. And then our body attempts to attack it because it doesn't belong there. And it causes inflammation. So there's times that you'll eat certain foods and you're like, oh, my belly's poofy. It's causing the GI, gastrointestinal, to expand. Once you create the leaky gut, and most of us live with leaky gut on a regular basis because we've lived so long, drinking the drinks that cause it, eating the foods that cause it, that whenever we eat something, even our hands and our face will poof up. Sometimes the feet will itch, the hands will itch, the ears will itch. Why? Because we're creating the inflammation from, right, where is it? Right there. That leaky gut. Okay, got it. Totally understand. That's where calories are not equal. Not even talking about the nutrients, not even talking about the vitamins and the minerals. We're just talking about what creates. I hope you're entertained with this because I'm like trying to figure out. There it is. What's creating that leaky gut, which lowers my immune system. With also things that are spiking the insulin and the sugars. That's another talk. Right now we're talking about the GI. There's specific foods that are absolutely causing that and when we remove that i call it kryptonite food so when you see any of my talks and i'm talking about the kryptonite foods kryptonite foods are the ones that we're addicted to we emotionally love it we physiologically love it but it's poison it weakens me it's creating leaky gut and poofiness which the inflammation in turn causes fat so i'm working out i'm on the cardio machine all the time all the time i'm burning a lot of calories on my fitbit Counting the calories, it just doesn't make sense. I ate, I ate this 700 calorie meal, so I'm going to go burn 700. It doesn't matter when there's a leaky gut. It just doesn't work that way with the human body, and I'm assuming you experienced it at one point or another. So the invitation to you is identify what those kryptonite foods are, get rid of it, and we're going to get whole foods that tighten this leaking gut. It'll tighten it up like the tight mesh, so we're no longer poisoning and causing the inflammation for the entire body. And this is why the right there, seven day tummy tuck challenge, you see people get so phenomenal results really quick. So I specialize in getting you quick results that are long standing, they're sustainable, that it's genuinely healing the body. You're consuming a lot of nutrient dense foods that heal the gut, regulate the blood sugar and you'll see your energy go up and the inches come down and you're like oh i'm not so poopy anymore ta-da that's what we're looking for this is the invitation on stop counting the calories stop counting the macros identify the kryptonite foods so your homework is identify the kryptonite foods when you consume something you're like man did i really eat three pounds of food yesterday because i'm three pounds heavier today identify what those foods are and a lot of times it comes in the sauces. It definitely comes in in the sugar-free drinks. So I would steer you away from that. Identify what those kryptonite foods are that are destroying your gut. I'm going to get it before we're done. That are destroying your gut, creating total body inflammation. And like the bags underneath the eyes, the poofiness, just being tired all around. We're done with that. So Monday I'm launching the 7-Day Tummy Tuck Challenge. Log in. Right now, 7daytummytuckchallenge.com. I've got some specials for you because if you step into it with urgency, I'm going to reward you with that because I'm here supporting you in your transformation. I've got some goodies for you 
in the Tell Me Tech Challenge Facebook page. Click the link I'm going to put in the comments and you'll be able to get the framework on, okay, how do I identify these kryptonite foods? How do I get rid of them? And what do I build as my foundation that's going to heal, that's going to heal this leaky gut to where it's no longer an issue? Love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite kryptonite food is and like what you're looking forward to. Because once that waist starts getting tighter and the energy goes up, we got spring break right around the corner. What are you looking forward to? That's really what this transformation is about. It's not about seven days of food and exercises, but it's really about you stepping into that higher energy, active, fit version of yourself. You get that to look forward to it in the seven days. Love you. Click the link. I'll see you on the other side. Until next time, Coach Esteban here, figuring out there's the button. Ciao.